Hey, it's Mark here at Cedar Falls Farm. I was uh, out here doing a little work on a tire on the tractor. Thought about making a video out of it and then I considered it wasn't going to take me long to do. And obviously that's not the uh, right approach because it's taken a lot longer than I'd imagine it would. So I'll set this up for you. I have a Kubota tractor, it's 12 years old. I put a lot of hours on this tractor. It gets a lot of use on the farm. It's been on the road helping neighbors probably within five miles of the farm. And uh, road time with off-road tires is not good. It wears them prematurely. And uh, as, as you can see, the outside of this is worn and it's just, uh, it, it eats up the lugs on it. But it was leaking and that's not uncommon either on the farm. There's some black locusts out here. They have huge thorns on them and they will puncture a tractor tire in a heartbeat. So I, uh, I have plugged this tire several times. The last time I plugged it, it actually took two plugs when I pulled one out, kept leaking down. I thought, hey, all I need to do is take it off, break the bead, pull the tire off, and I will put a patch on the inside, which is really the way you should, should repair a tire. But uh, I took it off and I found something here and I'll show you. This is delamination. So this, this tire, as you can see, has just delaminated. That's the probably nylon or polyester cords in it. I'm not sure what, which this has in it, but yeah, we're, we're down to the cords on the inside. That inner liner should be butyl rubber coming out of the tire industry. That's what allows you to not have to have an inner tube because of the structure of butyl rubber. It's less permeable than other types of rubber so that's what most companies will use on the inside but there's no way to repair that so I went ahead and ordered new tires uh, ordered them on Amazon I'll put a link they were the cheapest tires I could find uh, I'm, I'm not running expensive tires doing what I'm doing here on the farm and you can see they came in today UPS delivered these and I'm in the process of getting ready to start mounting these. So I wanted to go through, we'll do the first one. I'll go up and take the other tire off. I'll show that. But before I could do that, I actually had to clean this tire. It had uh, started leaking and getting water inside and you can tell the surface finish on this is kind of rusty or pitted now. It's not rusty anymore, I cleaned it. But I've had to go in and clean the bead mounting areas to make sure I have a good smooth finish. I've put a uh, black rust reformer paint on it to try to get this thing to where it will hold air. I'm putting a new valve stem in, so that's where we're at right now. Well, let's go ahead and I'll, I'll show mounting the valve stem here. It's not a real difficult thing if you got the right tools. And uh, I have the right tools. So we can do that. I will show you this tool. It, it looks like uh, maybe something you would use on a ratchet, but it's not. It has a threaded end here that goes in the valve stem. I am coming through the rim with it, screwing this into it, but I'm not gonna just pull it in place. I make a mixture and a squirt bottle and this is how I identify leaks as well in a tire. This is probably about 20% Dawn dishwashing liquid and 80% water. You don't have to use whatever brand, you can use whatever you want. Works well for me. But that allows to pull this in. Hopefully I've got the right size here. If not, no, uh, it is not the right size. All right, let me see if I have some more in there that are the right size, and uh, I'll pick back up here in just a moment. Okay, let's try that again. I found a TR415, I believe it is, or 416, can't read it, but it's for the larger diameter hole.
probably got a hundred of these that fits cars, trucks, motorcycles. There we go. That one's in. I'll put the valve stem cap back on. Wipe this off. Alright, that's set. Now I'm going to need to get my tire set up over here. So I will pick back up in a few seconds. Alright, back at it. Doing this with the valve stem up. Make it easier to work. This is a locking rod, keeps it from turning. Locking plate. Cinch down pretty good. I think that'll do. I will go ahead and spray a little bit here. Get this lubed up. I'm going to do the same thing on the tire. sure I have this thing going in the right direction Ugh. these ag tires are directional with these type lugs this is not going to be easy All right, one bead on. This will be the fun one coming up. And by fun, I mean not fun.
it's very hot here in South Carolina too. It's been in the upper 90s, close to 100, and uh, very high humidity. Makes it a little more difficult to get work done outside. Here we go.
right, let me get you back on the picture here. You can see that we got one end here being very, very difficult. Come on. Ah. All right. I've got it all the way on the rim, but the beads aren't set yet. We have a trick for doing that. Now I've got to blow this thing up. I'm going to use this bead blaster. It might take a couple of tries. This is where I want you to watch to see if it seats along that bead line. So the uh, bead on the tire is hit the bow stem. There we go. Close enough. This may or may not work, but here we go. Maybe. Maybe. The seating. We should get a pop.
check what our pressure's at here. See if I can find what the pressure's supposed to be. It says 30 PSI. We're at 20. Twenty-five. Got to turn this back on. Thirty PSI. I need to back this off. Play off. Locking pin out. We'll go up here and mount this tire on the tractor now and uh, I'll take you along with me as we finish up I'm not gonna mount the second one on the rim tonight because I don't have another valve stem and while I'm taking this thing apart I'm putting new valve stems in so we'll pick back up here in a minute all right we're gonna pick back up here I want to get this set where you maybe be able to see what I'm doing Not easy. All right. All tightened up. Jack let down. It's the beautiful part about the hydraulics. You can use them to your advantage. So that's going to be it for today on uh, on this particular job. I'll go out tomorrow and pick me up another valve stem. Oh, I hate that I didn't have another one to fit it. I'll probably pick up several so I don't get caught like this again. But I appreciate you taking time out and uh, joining me on this particular project. Take this off. I am sweating so much. 
I, I know that uh, sitting down and watching videos is a commitment of time. And I'm just trying to share, you know, part of my life with folks. What I do on the farm, hobbies, things like that. And uh, I really do appreciate you joining in. I sincerely appreciate, get a thumbs up. I love to get comments. I like to respond back, you know, drop a line, let me know where you're watching from. Or if you have any questions about things I'm working on. By all means, you know, give me a shout. If you see something you think I could do better, uh, I've been doing it a long time, but you know, you can do things wrong a long time too. So always open for uh, comments and suggestions. That being said, I appreciate you tuning in and uh, look forward to showing you something on the next one.